and where you can improve, but you're looking to add some things to your offense, add some things to your defense, and it looks like that's happened for Hampton. First and goal, Zealous keeps it himself, sidesteps a couple of tackles, and dances his way into the end zone for the first score this afternoon, a touchdown run by Chris Zealous. No problem, but it was a one-on-one -on -one tackle. He just misses it. Zealous gives him the dead leg, cuts the side, gets it to the end zone. Third and five. Zealous tries to go to the air, sidesteps a sack in the backfield, throws long downfield, and Copeland makes a diving catch inside the Spider 35-yard line. Great catch by Copeland at the 31. Still want to watch Zealous on the keeper. Nope, they oh. handed it off, and walking into the end zone is Tymeer Robinson. Bryson Parker, uh, uh, Bryson Parker right there on the goal line. He's going to lose that every time. Hampton knows where they need to get to be in field goal range, so they're taking some shots. And is that one caught? That did is. he get a foot inbounds? He Kamari did. Gray again, and he makes the catch. Butts is the running back. Zealous is grabbed from behind and down he goes at the seven yard line. Try and make this a three score game before halftime and he does. So Heaton adds to the Hampton lead with one second to go. Offensive line is doing a great job. First and goal from the seven over the middle. This one is caught for the Spider touchdown. That's the Richmond tight end Brooks Haggerty who grabs it for the first points of the day for the Spiders. Where they are and we got to get this touchdown. Looks him up, puts it right in his bread basket. A couple of, a couple of plays earlier, throw the ball away. Don't take that sack in that situation. Well, here comes a big run for Elijah Burris, and look out. This is what he can do, and he does it again, all the way into Richmond territory to the Spider 43-yard line. Third and goal. Zealous oh, for open. the end zone, wide open touchdown. Dorian Moultrie. There had to be some confusion on the back end. Might have been a little, a little bit of a pick but you're not going to get that call when you see. I mean, you've got to pass yep. first and to set up any type of run. Coleman looks to do that. He's got De Janeiro open for the Spider touchdown. Coleman to De Janeiro, 25 yards. Quick strike for the Spiders. Nick De Janeiro has been the go-to receiver for Richmond. That's his third touchdown of the year. He's got him in back-to-back -back games. Zealous stays on his feet, goes into the end zone for what could be a game clinching touchdown for the Hampton Pirates. To the brick house in the, the home of the Richmond Spiders. Missed tackles there, he gets into the end zone, drops that shoulder, he wasn't going to be stopped. With his first Spider action. Looking for six here. But it's going to be intercepted. Stanley Garner, his second interception of the game. 204 on the ground and counting. Butts, look out. Darren Butts, the midfield, and he will just glide out of bounds at the Spider 45 yard line. And that'll be it. That'll be the last play of the football game a victory for the Hampton Pirates over Russ Huseman's Richmond Spiders this afternoon they win it by a score of 31 to 14 they opened up a 17 nothing lead